Hi everybody, it's Carol from Carol's Vintage Treasures, and I was just wandering into one of my favorite thrift stores today, and you will never guess what I found. A jewelry jar. Now these are almost extinct out here in Arizona, so it was really amazing that I found it. Um, it was $19.99, I got 30% off because it's senior day over at my thrift store, over at um, 360 Thrift. So let's open this baby up and see what we got. Oh. All right, we got lots of tape on here. Let's see. I don't have my magnet. I have looked far and wide for it and I cannot find it. That's like the second magnet I have lost. You know what? When I find it this time, I'm going to put it in a safe place. So, okay. Make sure my view is still good. I have um, the camera mounted on a different table, so hopefully it won't shake and make everyone sick this time. All right, I'm just gonna spill it all out on the table. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of tangles in here, but it will be worth it. Let's see. I got stuff falling on the floor. Oh my gosh. I figure at the very least I can do a um, craft lot out of this. All right, so let's see what we got. Looks like a big mess, huh? Okay, I see something new. It says fashion jewelry. It looks like a hair doodad. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. Let me put it down here more. There. I'm trying to get my angle right. We have these blingy bracelets. Doesn't look very good. I'm going to be second guessing myself this whole video. There. It's going to shake for a minute, but it'll be worth it. Okay. What else do we have here? Hmm. Some kind of a necklace with a heart on it. But, let's see here. There. There's a necklace kind of a faux pearl thing with a heart. Let's see that. All right. This is a bracelet with some writing on it. Which I really can't see because it's really small. Um, it's probably some kind of some kind of personalization. You are amazing. You can do anything. And you rock. I don't know why they lost that. They probably need that in their life. But you always wonder how jewelry gets to be in the place that it's in. You know, it can be such a personal gift. And then when it ends up at Goodwill or a thrift store, they really don't have jewelry um, jars that are Goodwills out here in Arizona anymore. The uh, closest I've been able to find are the online auctions where you can buy um, jewelry jars, not jewelry jars, boxes of jewelry, like five pound lots, things like that. This is horrible. I can't see what I'm doing. This is BFF on it. There's a little homemade bracelet, looks like. You can see that? And we got a watch here. Don't know. What do you say? 100% water resistant quartz. I don't know what kind it is, but 
There it is. I've got a whole drawer full of watches. I have to put batteries in and try to sell. I do have a jewelry store on Etsy. It's Carol's Treasure Quest. I'll link it down below so you can take a look at it if you want to. Oh my goodness. There's got to be something good in here, right? These are just tangled up chains. I don't think there's anything special here. We've got those. And what is this? This looks like an earring of some sort. Put that over there. Maybe we'll find its match. My gosh, I haven't done one of these in such a long time. That's Holly back there breathing heavy, as you probably know. She's chewing under her sheet. She likes to do the nuzzling thing. I don't know if any of your dogs do that. But... Uh, let's do the stuff that's easy to get to first. If there's anything. There's some beads that will go in a uh, craft lot. I think I already showed you those. I don't know why they're still here. But... Oh, here's a necklace. It's got a tag on it. Park Lane. Not sure if it goes, yeah, it goes to this one. A Parkway necklace. Pretty cool. Let's see. I'm going to put all the earrings over here and then we'll try to match them up as we go. What does this say? Oh, it's a hand. You can see that? Talk to the hand. Oh, goodness. We got the other earring here. Up to that one, I hope. Oh, Holly, stop breathing heavy over there. My goodness. Okay. I know this is probably going to take us a while. There is a unicorn necklace. Trying to find the right spot to put this. It's hard to see from the angle that I'm at. Here's an Aloha necklace or bracelet. Wow, this is going to be a good craft lot. Uh, I think this is, oh, it's magnetic. It's a magnetic uh, piece of jewelry. But it looks like it could possibly be broken. I don't know. But there we go. <clears throat> There's another bracelet. Hopefully you can see. And there's an owl pendant. That's pretty cute. There's a broken necklace. That might be able to be fixed. I don't know. I'll have to take a closer look. But that's it right there. Sometimes it doesn't take a whole lot to fix things. You can just um, put another jump ring in something or, you know. And there's a statement necklace. And there's a beaded yellow and silver tongue necklace. Ooh. This guy has googly eyes. His googly eyes. Happy face. <laughs> He's cute. That's another earring. earring. Uh, this is a beaded stretchy necklace. You can see that. And I should have rethunk this. <laughs> Very uncomfortable. 
but hopefully I'm at a good angle where you can see better this time and the camera is not shaking all over the place because I didn't connect it to this table. I connected it to a different table. And there's another bracelet. And there's faux beads, um, faux pearls. <clears throat> oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know about this tangled mess here. Let me have to do the tangled mess in another video. But let's see here. Here's something. There's a beaded necklace. Who's this guy? Looks almost like a Lisa Frank. This calm. Oh, it's some kind of a cartoon necklace. It's kind of cute. A little kid's necklace. Oh, these are together. Thank you, thank you. Those are pretty. Hopefully you can see them. Nice pierced earrings. Let's see if there's any kind of a mark on there. At least I did find two of my loops here. Mm, don't see anything right away. Might have to look at that closer later. Very pretty though. Let's see what else we A lot of children's jewelry in here. Let's see. What's that? There's another, ooh, another bracelet. It says love and dream. And it's got a little owl there. It's awfully cute. Oh, I thought I had some praying hands here for a minute. Nope. Looks like a saint. Which saint are you? Hmm. I don't think it's a saint. It's something about Mary. Something about Mary. That. Oh my gosh, I hope you can see. It's hard for me to tell if I'm showing it right. I do apologize if it's a bad angle. Let's see. This is kind of cool. It's like a Superman logo. That's nice. Here is a purple necklace with a dolphin on it. Let's get that over a little closer. It looks all blurry for my angle. I hope it's not blurry for you. <laughs> Here's a necklace. And this, that'll probably go in a craft lot. What are you doing, Holly? <laughs> She's over here messing with me, licking my arm. I see you over there. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, it's a little turtle. I hope you can see that. It's very pretty. <laughs> So do you get jewelry jars in your area? Let me know. This is the first one I've seen in a long, long time. I just happened to be in there and saw it in the case. 
That could be something. Let's see if there's any kind of a mark on it. Let me look really quick. Mm. It says something. Mm. Try this one, it's better. I don't think it says anything actually. It's really pretty though. I could always test that with my um, gold testing kit. Let's see here. I wonder what this is. It's one or two necklaces like a multi-layer necklace and that there's another one of those put that over there and we'll do all our earrings together now let me know what your experience in your area where you're from are with the jewelry jars are they still around uh, our Goodwills have taken all their cases out and they don't even sell jewelry. I mean, some of them have a little bit up by the register, but not much at all. So, but I know every once in a while, 360 will have one in its case. And I just got lucky. Hopefully I find something good in here. Let's see. Uh, that's going to be too hard to untangle, but that's what that looks like. Alright. Let's get to some of the easier stuff. It's an earring, I believe. It's an earring with a basket. Oh, there's a bracelet. That's pretty. Very blingy. <sighs> Used to find some really neat things in jewelry jars. <laughs> I have even found um, some Mexican money. Uh, it was enough to get a new tire for my car. I went and exchanged it at the bank. And it was a really hard time for me because I didn't have enough for the tire. So that was very lucky. You can see that. Yep. It's funny how we're in hard times. Sometimes something like that comes about. <sighs> what do we have here? This is probably homemade, but that's pretty pretty cross. Okay. Yeah, when I used when I first started doing jewelry jars years ago, you would find some really nice stuff in it. Um, they didn't check them too good back then because um, I know now some of the managers will go through with magnets and make sure there's no gold or silver in there. There's another bracelet. It's another earring. Those are pretty. But back then they used to put a lot of Mardi Gras beads in there too. It's filler. <laughs> I remember those. You want to yell at them? It's it's a party, it's a party item. It's not jewelry. But let's see that it's a necklace with a lot of little charms on it. Keep 
picking this up thinking it's going to magically untangle itself. There's a lot of little earrings here. Looks like I'm going to have a great craft lot. Um, oh, there's a pineapple pin. If you can see that. I'm trying to get a good angle. It's a pineapple. Looks like copper colored. <sighs> Someday I'll get this whole thing figured out, guys. This whole YouTube thing. Man. It's hard. I um, really don't know how to edit, so I know what you see is what you get. But I'm hoping to learn all that so I can improve. There's another earring. There's a kind of a beaded cloth nylon necklace thing. Doesn't feel too good. Oh, look, look. We have a pair. Pair of earrings. Those are pretty. Put those to the side. <gasps> I see another pair. Let's see if I can straighten these out. They look really pretty. I hope they're all there. Look at that. Let's see. Can you see? Yes. That's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Hmm. A neat looking cross. It was probably in a rosary. You can see that. All right. This is a bunch of string. <laughs> I don't know what it's to, but there's that. And there's a little unicorn. Lots of kids' jewelry in here. And that's the little sand art thing I showed you before. Oh, it's hot in here tonight. Probably because I'm under a hot light. Hmm. But the last video I did, I forgot to turn my light on and it was all weird and wonky looking. It's a heart. Another little stretchy bracelet. Ooh, this one's broken. A lot of craft lot items. I think I just sold a craft uh, bag not too long ago. They can do pretty good, depending on... <coughs> Excuse me. I like to stretch mine out on a table so people can see what they're getting. And then I'll put them on a scale and take a picture of it and show how much it weighs. And these look like they match, but no, they're just pieces, pieces and parts. Okay, I do not think this is going to untangle. But I will give you an idea what it looks like after I get this earring untangled. I found the mate to that one. I'm trying to see if there's any more earrings in here. Let's see. Oh, there's a llama. My granddaughter would like that. She loves llamas. I think both my granddaughters do. There's another earring. Now I have another granddaughter who's all grown up. I have a grandson that's all grown up. And I have the two babies. They're not babies anymore. They're nine and eleven. Like that. 
Well, I've showed you that sand bottle thing about six times now. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't know if we're going to have any more babies in our family. I hope we have a couple more. My youngest daughter swears she's never going to have kids. And my second from oldest daughter says she's not going to have kids. My son's had two. And my oldest daughter's had two. So, I've got four. Um... Oh my gosh, that is not going to untangle, guys. Sorry. Okay, we got that. And I'm not going to put you through all this, so. We got that. I see another earring, I think, maybe. Thought I saw the backing. Maybe I'm seeing things. Okay, when I get this untangled, it might be kind of pretty. There's green beads. Let me see those green beads. And then there's some red beads. Lots of glass beads. Gold tone jewelry there. All right, let's see what we can match up from these earrings. Oh, there's another one. I don't know if I showed you that or not. Let's match up some earrings. Well, here's a ring. Somebody made that, I bet. No, Holly, we're almost done. We're almost done. These two match. Let's see. These are kind of pretty. Purple and green. knocking stuff down with her tail. There's the basket earrings. Alright. Let's see. There's a pair of button earrings. They're, those are most likely vintage. They've got that on them. Oh, here's another pair. These are pretty green. Dangly earrings. That I think I already showed you. It's just a hair dealy bop. What else do we have that matches? Oh, here. These match. Yep. Those are pretty. I showed you those already. Let's see. Maybe after we untangle stuff later, we'll find more that match. But, oh. There's some matches. So pretty, kind of like amethyst colored. Oh, and here's a couple of love knots. Kind of a copper colored. Oh my gosh, I hope you can see this. <laughs> it's hard for me to see from this angle what you're seeing, so I'm doing my best. Here's a pair of black enamel earrings. Let's see. <sighs> there are quite a few that match. A lot of times you have single earrings and that's all. There's some. Pretty ivory colored. Faceted. Ooh, here's another pair. Those are pretty. <sighs> Sorry if my hands are dirty. This jewelry is not the cleanest. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I wish that this one had a mate. Isn't that awesome? No, but if I put those in craft lots, people can do some amazing things with these little bits and pieces of jewelry. Uh, 
It's just amazing what people can do. Let's see. I thought I saw this one. Hmm. Well, okay. There's some black, like black roses. Those are pretty. I'm trying to get them in the camera. Oh my gosh. I really want to show these because they're pretty. Okay. And here's some more. Here's some more clip-ons. I have sold clip-ons, so they're not um, completely out of style. People still like to wear them, especially if they're vintage. They make some really beautiful vintage clip-ons. I have some in my Etsy store too. Those are pretty. I'm having fun just matching the earrings. Let's see. If there's any more. Oh, these match. You're probably yelling at me. Those match, those match. Oops. Pretty. What else do we got here? Ah, oh, those are just beads. Hmm. That might be it unless I find some tangled up in something later. I think that's all that I can see right now. But not bad. Not a bad jewelry jar. We can certainly match up some earrings and sell them. And we can um, make some grab bags and some gift bags. With grab bags, what I'll do is I'll um, put wearable jewelry in them uh, and like just make up a bag of different necklaces and earrings and bracelets and just put them in a little grab bag so you get kind of a surprise when you open it. Those are fun to do. I think I've got a video um, where I did one, showed you how they're done, but... I'm just trying to see if I can see anything else in here. I don't think so. Okay. Well, I'm going to be working hard on my jewelry store on Etsy this week and try to get some of this stuff up. I've been saving forever. Uh, I've got quite the death pile of jewelry. So I need to get that taken care of. I don't know if I'm trying to do too many things at once. I mean, I've got vintage, I've got stuffed animals, I've got jewelry. And then I'm selling on e eBay too and Poshmark with the clothes. I don't know. At one point, I was just going to settle on one thing and that was vintage. <laughs> and somehow I got into everything else. But I think... It's good to spread yourself out a little bit, you know. Try to see if you can do new things and learn about new things. So, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the jewelry jar. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments below. What was your favorite one? Your favorite item? And let me know if you have jewelry jars in your area. Ooh, what's this? I wish this was a diamond. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be wonderful? I'll have to test it. Do you think that's a diamond? There you go. It's pretty, huh? There's only one unless I can find another one in this tangled mess. But anyway, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know you, you like these kind of videos, so I'll do more. Uh, and that's all I have for today. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great day. I hope you find some pretty jewelry when you're out thrifting. And have a great day. 
Bye-bye.